All right, problem three, using sequences. Two managers at a clothing store created sequences to show their original price and the markdown prices of an item. Write a recursive formula and an explicit formula for each sequence. What will the price of the item be after the six markdown? So the first sequence was 51, 43.35, and 36.85. This one had a common ratio, and the common ratio was 0.85. And so if I want to write the uh, recursive formula, I need the first term, a sub 1 is 60. And so a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times my ratio, which is 0.85. Um, to write the explicit formula, again, I need my first term, and it's a sub n equals 60 times 0.85 to the n minus 1. Now, if I want to find, it says, what would the price what would the price of the item be after the six markdown? So if I want to find the six markdown, I need to know that because this is the first term, this would be the first markdown, even though this is my second term. And this is the second markdown, even though this is the third term. So in order to get the six markdown, I need to do seventh. And it's my seventh. I want the seventh term. So I'm going to say in the most the best formula to substitute it into is the explicit because in order to do the recursive I need to know the term before and I don't know the term before. So I'm going to plug in 7 and when I do that I get 60 times 0.85 to the 7 minus 6 I mean 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6 and then I raise this to the 6th power multiply by 60 and I get 22.63. Alright. Then if I do the second sequence I see that instead of a ratio, I have a common difference of 8. So again, for um, recursive formula, I need my first term. And I'm going to get a to the n minus 1 minus 8, if you remember um, arithmetic sequences. And then for my um, explicit formula, it's going to be a sub n equals negative 8 times n minus 1 plus 60. And so again, to find my 6 markdown, I'm going to have a sub n are the nth term, or the seventh term, so that's going to be 7 minus 1, which is 6, 6 times negative 8, plus 60 gives me 12. So the price continuing the first sequence is 22.63 after the 6th markdown, and the price continuing the second sequence is $12 after the 6th markdown. All right, let's look at guided number 3. It says write a recursive formula and an explicit formula for each sequence. Find the 8th term for each sequence. So I have A equals 14. 84, 504, and 3024, dot, dot, dot. And when I divide it, first I divided 84 divided by 14, and then I, well, let's do it. So 84 divided by 14, 6, 504 divided by 84, 6, 3024 divided by 504, Six. So it's the geometric sequence, so I get 6. So R equals 6. Um, I am, first I'm going to do recursive. And I get A sub 1 equals 14. And A sub N equals A sub N minus 1 times 6. Explicit. I get a sub n equals 14 times 6 to the n minus 1. And they asked me find the eighth term of the sequence. So this time I'm just going to use 8 as my n because I want the eighth term in the sequence. I know my first term is 14 and I want to find the eighth term. So a sub 8 equals, and remember we have to use explicit because I don't know the seventh term, so I can't use my recursive. Um, 14 times 6 to the 8 minus 1, which is going to give me 6 to the 7, times 14 is 3,919,104. 3,919,104. Let's do part B. I got 648, 324, 
162, 81, dot, dot, dot. All right, so when I put this in my calculator, I have 324 divided by 648, and it gives me 0.5 or 1 half. Then I do 162 divided by 324, I get 0.5 or 1 half. Then I do 81 divided by 162, I get 0.5. So this again is a geometric sequence. So my R is 1 half, or 0.5, doesn't matter. My recursive is A sub 1 equals 648. And um, my formula is a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times 1 half. My explicit would be a sub n equals 648 times 1 half to the n minus 1. Okay, I'm just going to plug in. They want the 8th value again, so I'm going to plug in that 8. So I have a sub n. Oh, so a sub 8, I'm sorry. It's 648 times 1 half times 8 minus 1. So I put it in my calculator. So that's 0.5 to the 7th power times 648. I get 5.0625. 5.0625. I hope this helps.